Hello everyone. Welcome to week four of our Coasting Communities Open Course. As you may already know, I'm Dennis Bertuna, your teaching assistant. This week's topics all address the question, how can we adapt to climate change? This question should be at the forefront of our thoughts since we can see climate change occurring right before our eyes. This week, we'll visit with Dr. Anna Maria Frankich in Wellfleet Harbor, where she'll introduce us to her Living Labs project. Living Labs are very interesting because they can help answer so many important questions about our changing climate. We'll also talk to Dr. Frankich about oyster reefs and the important role that oyster reefs play in a balanced coastal system. We mentioned some of these in week three. This week, though, we'll look further down the road, asking how our coastal communities will be affected by a lack in oysters as our climate changes. Dr. Frankich will also take us on a visit this week to Savin Hill Cove, She'll talk about urban development and the necessary support for maintenance of ecological services. Our second presenter this week is Chris Watson, a research assistant with UMass Boston's School for the Environment. Chris will provide a detailed discussion regarding climate change data. He will also plot out carbon emission level increases and describe the radically increasing rates of carbon dioxide proliferation that's occurring over the past few decades. And he will share calculations derived from scientific modeling regarding an alarming sea level rise predicted for the Boston area. Within this week's course material, I've provided you reference to some really interesting third-party videos. One features a former professor of mine from Edinburgh University debunking the arguments of climate change skeptics. The other presents an excellent interview with Kumi Naidu, the executive director of Greenpeace International. I definitely recommend you watch them both. As we have throughout the course, we look forward to hearing from you by way of your questions, concerns, and comments in the discussion forum. Happy learning.